request. This is a, a song. Uh, Bill requested this. It's a song called Patrick O'Darty. It's a song about Northern Ireland. It's got a line in it, Keen for your mother country, and Keen's the Irish whale for the dead. Patrick O'Darty grew up in a Boston family, third generation from the land of Lucky Green. When he was a lad, he got set down by my daddy's dad, tell him all the stories of the land he'd never seen. Magic of the Emerald Isle, especially in a colony, small but best of all, St. Patrick, who could drive the snakes away. As the boy grew older, his father's tales grew colder, told him on the dark side of the history of the land, of slavery and hunger, how to try to drag them under, but Cromwell couldn't break them, the British all be damned, and how the battle won't be done to all of our herd. St. Patrick, they can drive the snakes away. Yes, keen for your mother country. Keen for your mother country, that it one day may be home. Patrick O'Darty was drafted in 1970, sent to fight the communists in the land of Vietnam. Mechanics he could understand was a pretty brave kid with a steady hand, so they trained him in the secrets about him making disarm bombs. But what he saw there broke his heart, and when it came time to depart, he returned to America, a dazed and shattered man. Patrick's alone in a bar, out of work, drinking hard when two men come and sit down on either side of him. In an Irish broke, they say they represent the IRA. Know of him as someone who can't be trusted as a friend. And how they'd like to commission his talent and demolition. And just like St. Patrick, they could drive the snakes away. Yes, keen for your mother country. Keen for your mother country. I cannot turn my back away. Patrick O'Darty settled in Belfair City with a brand new name, yeah, and a burning desire. He was high paid and protected, revered and respected, for he was the man who could give the people fire. And for the British troops, he did not care, but he made his fellow rebels swear his handiwork would not be used on innocent lives. And then one day he heard the news, a car bomb near a Protestant school. At least a dozen passers by wounded or dead. He ran and found the rebel commander, grabbed him and demanded an explanation, but this reply was all he got instead. Are you really so naive that you could honestly believe that in Belfast there's such a thing as innocent lives? And Patrick said, Keen for your mother country, keen for your mother country, and the blood that stains these hands. Patrick O'Doherty sits drinking his whiskey, remembering all the things his father had said. Patrick O'Doherty pours another whiskey, trying hard to drive away the demons in his head because his ears resound with children's cries. And the mangled body spill his eyes, and just like St. Patrick, he must drive these things away. Patrick O'Doherty finishes his whiskey and picks up a 45 and puts it to his head. Keen for your mother country. Keen for your mother country. How much more blood will be shed? How much more blood will be shed?